Coach Gruden? Yep. Okay, here he is. Thank you. How's it going, guys? Hey, Coach. How are you doing? Good, thanks. I'll answer any questions I can. John, what have you seen, what have you seen from Justin Herbert so far? You know what? I've been really impressed with him from him being, becoming the, the surprise starter against the Chiefs, uh, defending world champions, and taking the first drive down for a touchdown. I mean, he has shown the ability to throw the ball into tight windows. He's, he's made athletic plays. He's shown great toughness. Um, heck, I, I'm, of course, I, I compliment everybody. You guys know that. But uh, <laughs> um, what do you guys think? I mean, you have to be impressed with the kid. With no off-season program, give me a break. This guy's the real deal. Just, I mean, you played Cleveland last week, but obviously you got to see – some of Joe Joe Burrow on tape with Cincinnati, and now you you get to you get to face Herbert and seeing film of him. Just can you say in any way how he compares to Burrow or differences? Uh, I, don't, I don't do that. Um, I used to do that for a living, but you'd have to call uh, call ESPN to compare guys. Now I'm <laughs> I'm just uh, really impressed with both of the young quarterbacks, and uh, they're being well coached, and uh, their supporting cast is pretty good too. You know, when you can. Uh, have a good running game, and, and, and you can throw the ball to guys like Keenan Allen and, and Henry and certainly Mike Williams. That helps as well. John, what have, what have you seen? Uh, how do you feel like uh, he's meshed with, I mean, just watching on film with Mike and Hunter and, uh, and Keenan uh, this so far? I mean, pretty good. You know, he, uh, he, he understands where the matchups are. He knows when Mike Williams is one-on-one. I, I, you can see that. And he's not afraid to take the shot. And he, he's been good with his eyes. He's looking off DBs, and he's giving guys a chance to make plays for him. And uh, the thing I like about him is he can create. When nothing's there, he can make a positive play, scrambling for a first down or scrambling for a completion. And those guys are the hardest to defend. And, I, John, I know that uh, you guys have Derek Carr and everything, but did you guys meet with Justin at all during the draft process or, uh, or anything like yes, that? Yes, we did. What? Yeah, we did meet with him at the Combine. That was just right before the COVID disaster. But he's an impressive kid. Um, you know, you can, you can see why uh, he was picked where he was. Obviously, he's got, got all the intangibles, the intelligence, and he's got the it factor to be a great success. What's one of the things that impressed you about Justin Herbert, the person, and not the player? Well, he, you know, he never really had a um, – his own private coach. I mean, he, he trusted his coaches at the university. He was a team guy. You know, he never missed practice. Uh, he didn't care if he threw the ball for 300 yards or they ran for 300 yards. He just wanted to win. And uh, he's an unselfish kid. He's, he's got a great background. And, you know, he just, like I said, he's, uh, I can't say any more good things about him. He's, he's, he's really impressive. Look forward to competing against him. If you were still doing your QB camp, uh franchise you think he would have been a good episode yeah i'm sure he would have been hey uh, uh john you're coming to a new stadium at sofi stadium in la how's it been for you in vegas with Allegiant stadium and what do you like about that stadium oh uh, we love our stadium we uh can't wait to see your stadium <laughs> I, I i would like to share it with your fans and our fans that's that's been the, the real disappointment is you know we we play in front of Bob Streety, he's our security man. He's our only fan. <laughs> How much different is that, Coach, for you to get used to you and your team playing in the building with no fans? Well, it's hard. I mean, it is hard. I mean, we played uh, at Cleveland. They had 20,000 20, fans. We were excited to see the fans. Same thing at Arrowhead. They had fans there. You know, this is a great uh, game that you love to you love to go on the road and, and, and be a part of the, the stadium atmosphere, at least – I know I do, and I'm sure our players do, and yours do too. But uh, you know, just looking at the stadium and looking at the architecture and all that stuff, it's that's uh, it's really impressive. But when you put the fans in there, and it, and it really puts an exclamation point on the whole project. Coach, you got a couple of Alabama kids on the, on your offense leading your team there. Can you talk about the, what they've brought to your team and kind of what's made you guys a little bit more explosive than you've been in the past? Well, obviously, uh, 
you know, Josh Jacobs is the centerpiece here. We can hand it to him or fake it to him. And um, we're confident in him. He's, he's really a good runner and receiver. He can do it all. And uh, we're hoping Henry Ruggs can stay healthy and start stringing some, some performances together to get some experience in this league. And he's had a, a couple really splashy plays for us, and we're expecting big things from him. And uh, we're happy to have both those guys. Coach, uh, Chargers have gotten up to big leads, and then they end up kind of uh, unwavering in the second half. Just what, what are your thoughts on that, and how, how could uh, – yeah, just your thoughts on that. Well, this is a tough league. You know, this is a really tough league, and uh, they, they've obviously, you know, been been stricken with some tough losses. I mean, it's it's tough to, to lose games in this league, and it's tough to lose leads and lose, but – uh, I'm sure they have a resolve, and I'm sure they're going to give give us their best shot. They always do. But, you know, when you have Bosa out there in the two-minute drill, that certainly helps you. You know, losing Bosa last week is a big problem. When you get your best players injured, we've been there all year ourselves. When you lose really good players, I don't want to make excuses, but it's tough on you. And uh, they just got to keep swinging. I'm sure they're going to – I'm sure they're going to play great on Sunday. They're a good team. And uh, just – Winning in set, I mean, the game in Cleveland uh, with the win and everything going on, having a low-scoring game like that but coming out as the victor like you guys did, do you feel like that's kind of a season-changing victory for you guys? You know, I don't uh, I don't know about all that. You know, if you were there in Cleveland, you, you would have uh, you would have you would have been very surprised that we were we were able to score any points. I mean, it was a 40 mile an hour wind and it was a great victory. We needed to win in bad weather and uh, it's a springboard, hopefully, for good things to come. But we've got some men injured, and we got a lot to sort through right now. John, with the way you were run, able to run the ball during the second half and with the conditions and everything, because I think in the first quarter, that Carlson kick looked good and then, like, went at a 45-degree angle that few have ever seen before. Is that a... Uh, is that a, a good Gruden grinder type type win to give this team some momentum and uh, good good uh, good accomplishment? Well, it's it's just good to win. You know, we we tried to put our roster together where you know we can adapt to who we're playing and what the weather conditions are. And you know, we use two tight ends and two backs and use an old school attack because of the the conditions. And uh, we're we're excited about the development of our roster that allowed us to do that. But um, like I said, we got a long way to go, and we got a great uh, challenge ahead of us. we got to get back to work here. Hey, Coach, Keenan Allen just a few catches away from being the second, the leading, second leading receiver for the franchise history. Will you talk about what you've seen from him in his uh, career here? Well, when you say that, that's saying something. When you go back to – Kellen Winslow and Jefferson and Joyner and all the magicians they've had play in that organization. You know, he's look, he's durable, he's natural, he's uh, really sudden, he's got tremendous instincts and an excellent down to down competitiveness. Now, not a lot of guys compete like Allen does, and uh, got a lot of respect for him, always have. John, can you talk about uh, being offensive minded, but uh, rookie linebacker Kenneth Murray just. What have you seen from Phil on him, and uh, how do you feel like uh, he's kind of grown uh, this season? Well, he's really physical, and it's a demanding defense. It's a it's a heck of a scheme. Uh, Gus Bradley, you know, that's a world championship scheme. They've, they've won championships with it. It asks a lot of the linebackers in coverage and against the run. And uh, Murray, you know, he's, he's a physical presence. And uh, I, I like his instincts. I like his ability to find the ball and strike people. He's a tough kid. But thanks a lot, guys. I got to get to work. Hope you guys stay safe. Hope to see you down there. Thanks, Thank John. You. Have a good one. All right, guys. Good.